Hey, folks, Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by my bookie. Because he's my bookie. Tom Brady returns to New England for the biggest game of the year. Oh, yeah, that's this weekend. That's exciting. Ooh, I'll be home baby. for that. TV. Brady versus Belichick. The stakes have never been higher at my bookie. Oh, yeah. Joe, tell us how you feel. Uh -oh. oh, that's me. Oh, I'm excited. You know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm done with Tom Brady, though. I'm ready for him to really get sacked and have his back break in half. You know what I mean? Uh, well, he's getting old. He's, uh, he's over the hill. He's going to croak soon. He's 48. He's no longer on my team. He got his Super Bowl post. Patriots. I hope the Patriots win 37 to nothing. It's pretty unlikely, but mm. I'm hoping for a big blowout via the Patriot Patriots. I started to say Pats and I switched it to Patriots. I so get now it. he's not like a nerd. Whether you're backing the Bucks or the Pats this Sunday, I'll be backing the Pats, of course. Like most things in life, the game is always more exciting when you've got money on it. Here, here. Get in on the action and take this game to a whole new level at my bookie. Both teams are sporting top defenses. Slow and steady will win this race, folks. Smart money bets the under. Bet the under with Brady? What? Nah. Doesn't make any sense. The guy throws for like 900 yards a game. Yeah, and he's handsome. Anyways, tell him how to do it, Mark. Don't wait around. Join my boogie now and bet on the biggest game of the season. Use promo code TUESDAYS and double your first deposit. Again, that's promo code TUESDAYS to get double your first deposit with my bookie and start your winning season today. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Because he's my bookie. Tuesdays with Stories is also brought to you by Sheath Underwear. Yeah. You guys know how we feel about Sheath Underwear. When are we not wearing Sheath? I think I got a pair on myself. Oh, yeah. I got... Camo, baby. I got the camos on, too. No way. Look at this. We both got cami. Wow. Cami Sheath. Matching that. underwear. That's Cuck, fun. Cuck Dynasty. Hey, look at that. All right. Well, we're there both we wearing go. the cami underwear, and I wear them because my lady loves them. Her pussy gets as wet as it can get. You got that right. With still me walking around. Mm -hmm. Keep your balls off your leg. It saves you from adjusting yourself on the subway unless you like to. You're happy to do it. Two pouches, one for your dick, one for your balls. Keep the corn cob out of the pumpkin patch, if you know what he's mm, saying. I, I don't like that. I don't exactly get it. They're ah, very supportive. Seasonal. So much it practically pays child support. How much does the lady like them? Well, she loves them. She insists that I wear my sheath underwear. And she's got sheath, too. She was wearing a sheath sports bra all day yesterday. It turns Ooh. me on as well. I mean, I really do love them. I mean, what more can we say other than we're both wearing them? Yes. Currently, right now, the idea for Sheath came from its founder, U.S. Army soldier Robert Patton, during his second tour in Iraq. Big Rob. Support this awesome veteran-owned company whose founder is a Tuesday himself and a big comedy fan. Tell him how, Marcus. You got that right. We love Sheath. Go to sheathunderwear.com and order with promo code TUESGAYS to get 20% off your first order and Sheath Underwear's 100% money-back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com. Promo code TUESGAYS with a G. Get sheath underwear and let them support your cojones. Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. yee Here we are. We're in it. Oh, wait. We're supposed to pause a little. I think we pause. I think this little thing comes on. The radio is spitting at me. Oh, yeah. All right. That thing? When's the last time you listened to the podcast? Uh, when Chuck made a new uh, video for it, I gave it another twirl, but that was about it. Oh, okay. I hate my voice. It's a fun show. It's a hell of a show. We got to get a studio. We got to kick it up a notch. This couch has been jizzed on by 28 people in an orgy and a cat. You ever fuck on the couch? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, once today. It's so small and narrow. Well, you get a leg up there. Ah, uh, you got to get a leg up in the competition. Yes. I've yes. never fucked in any place in my entire apartment except the bed. What? Well, you know, I like to get weird. I want to fuck in the sink, the shower, sure. the casket. I want to go crazy, but, yeah, good you know. Yeah, coffin fuck. It takes two to tango, and mm. uh, the other one doesn't want to tango anywhere but the bed. Really? Have you tried? Uh, uh oh, speaking of moving to the couch, this cat's ready to tango. Look at that bend. Yeah, yeah, he's a real scoliosis queef. But wait a minute. You never made a move in the kitchen and just uh, it, it 
you know, one thing leads to another. Well, it's no moves. There's no moves anymore. Not it's anymore. more just like, hey, you want to have sex? Ah, all right. And then you, you walk to the room and you, you close up the shades and you go, okay, that feel good. That looks all right. Let me adjust your eyeliner and uh, mine. Yeah. And yeah. that's it. Ah. Nothing get passionate. She's chopping up the uh, cucumbers. Yeah. It looks like your dick. You think of a foreskin. You get hard, and then you you rub a, a boner against the thigh. And I try, but the kitchen, the window has no shade, and there's a building. Ah. It's New York. Uh, this is why I want to move to the country. Yes, because there's a window, and you can just see people on the stairs. Yeah, you can fuck in a tree and a log in the stream in the general store. I That's fucked, good living. I fucked a lady in the woods once and deer ran by. What? It was doggy style. I was like, look at deer. We both saw the two deer scooch on by. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty good. Watch that poison ivy. Yep. Dear God. Ivy. Poison ivy. Tits. Great um, line in that. You're going to need an ocean of calamine lotion. As a kid, I remember going, that's pretty good. Oh, that is good. That's yeah. a lot of calamine lotion. The cat, by the way, is killing me. I got the uh, allergens. This fur is right in my asshole. Sorry, I forgot you were uh, anti Semitic. But yeah, this thing is a real um, hypo. Like the ladies on all these pills. It's weird. She loves cheese, can't have cheese. She loves cats, can't have a cat, but she does. She's living in hell. All the things she likes. Are bad for her. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, this thing is crazy. I don't think this blanket's helping either. I think I got a lot of... I got sniffles over here. Yeah, I think the cat fucks the blanket, and now you're getting your nostrils fucked. Mull hair does it to me every time. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, but anyways, welcome to the show, folks. This is Tuesdays with Stories. I want to just shout out real quick. Cause first of all, I got to warn everybody. I got nothing this week because I busted my tits. On the bonus. We oh, did a bonus yeah. on Thursday. I threw some serious story. I, I, I bought a new guitar. I got a discount, a nice face discount. That whole story and a bunch of other hilarious shit is on the Patreon right now. Full episode. Woo, it, was a, it was a humdinger. That thing was lunch. You really blew your wad. You popped your hymen. We put a towel down. Yeah, I gave it everything I got. So join the Patreon today. A lot of bonus stuff. More coming. We got all kinds of Chuck stuff coming. We're going to have some more Seinfeld shit. We got a full episode, which was one of my favorite episodes. And I'm not just saying that. Really? Oh, I thought it was great. You had me howling. I was howling, Jerry. I'll take it. I was howling as well. Howling at the moon. Did you see? Howling wolf. Speaking of Jerry, did you see that mashup some queef did about Seinfeld and the movies they're referencing? A couple people sent it to me. I haven't watched it yet. I was the same. I was like, oh, it's another little clip. I get it. I've seen everything. It's unbelievable. There's really? movies we didn't, I didn't even know they were referencing in there. Like from the 20s and the duck soup and all this shit. Interesting. All right, I'll take a peek because seven people showed it to me and they all said, I'm sure 20 people sent this to you. Yep, yep. But I'll take a peek. Take I promise a poke. to peek. But it's peaked. all Seinfeld ego. Someone's like, have you seen us? I'm like, I know about the thing. I know about same. the airport. I know about Superman. Get out of here. Same thing, same thing. But this is really well done. It's shit we didn't know. I wish I could shout the guy's name out. It's like something Baruch. This guy killed it and it's got music behind it and it... It rolls, baby. I'll check it out. Baruch Assault. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in seeing it. Baruch College. Um, is that how you say it? Baruch. Most diverse college in the country, they say. No kidding. I played there once, ate my own ass on stage, died. This kid came on after me. He was on Wild and Out once for like six seconds. They all went nuts. That's the guy from Wild and Out. Oh, shit. And I was like, what? I've been on everything. And they go, ah, blow me, honky. Was it Jake Williams? No, nah, it was a black guy. Ah. He's very funny, Jacob Williams. Yeah, he's got some good zingers, that kid. Hilarious. You buy my favorite comic right now. Cosby? No. Daniel... Uh, Simonson? Uh, Simonson. Oh, he's fun. I mean, I talk about him all the time. Every time I see this guy, I'm blown away. He's got the best anxiety material ever, and I got really? my fair share. I think he was. Uh, he's a Norwegian kook, and he was big. He was like Dane Cook out there. Then he comes here, and he's uh, living under a bridge. Well, I think he was big there. Then he went to London and did well in London, ah. and then came to New York, and now he's nobody, and everybody hates him, but I think he's great. I like him. He's a sweet guy. He's got a big noggin, and uh, the, maybe the funniest accent in history. Great accent, but uh, just amazing jokes. I watch. I, it's, if I see him in the lineup, I, I, I got a scoot. Really? We got Simonson coming on. Oh, my man, God. Man, oh, man. I, I'll check him out. I usually see, I think of him as a coaster. Like, ah, not for me. Yeah, very good. Very funny guy. No, he's great. I don't like coasters either. I'm not using one right now. Is that all right? I don't use them. I don't believe in them. Why don't you make the whole table out of the coaster, I say? It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's already coastery type material. It's a wood. Why well, not just make the tabletop a coaster? Well, the wood, I'm looking at a ring right here. You got a bad ring. Oh, uh, God. You don't respect ring. wood. 
Yeah, you got to respect wood. This is no problem, I don't think, because it's stone. Well, you get a coffee line on there, it's over. I can see another ring, actually, what? right now. Look at there's a God ring here. God damn it. Yep. Jesus. It's got a bad ring to it. Ring doorbell. Uh, Son of a bitch. <laughs> ring around the rosy. Oh, uh, yeah. What's that? That's horse shit, right? I don't know what that is. It's, it's it Red sucks. Rover. I know that one. Red Rover was fun, but you could really get hurt. Oh, you could yank an arm out of the socket. I liked Red Rover. Rinky what else dink. was there? Skate, skating what were ring. the fun games? Well, you had the steeple. There's all the people. Oh, that was bullshit. That was like a this thing? Yeah, it was like a fingering thing. But <laughs> Jesus, Dad. Good oh. Lord. You're going to scare the, the, the pigs with that, you big bad wolf. It's the cat. The cat's a cunt. It's a fucking allergic cat. I mean, the cat... Is bringing nothing to your life. I'm sorry. You no, gotta get rid of the cat. You don't know about the joy we have when I when I lay on the floor at night and and look at the stars. It comes up and nuzzles and I finger its ass. I see no joy. It's knocking over my water. I can't stop sneezing. He's just sleeping over there. He's got a curly back and there's cat <laughs> shit in here. Well, I gotta tell you, you're not you're not an animal guy. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> Jeez, I got sneezy over here. The seventeenth dwarf. Uh, I'm Jewy. What the hell's going on? We got a, I got an allergy pill if you want it. What kind of pill you got? That's a Walgreen brand. Like a Claritin? Yeah. Let's give me a Benadryl because a Benadryl will be sleeping for the second half of the pod. No Ben, no Ben, big Ben. If it, is it a Claritin type of thing? It or is. Famotodine. No, that's the reflux. Laura Todine. I think that's a comic. No, Laura, Laura Tony is the... Is She's the good. She was big in the 80s. Clarinet. I, I might need it. I'm, I can't stop sneezing over I'll here. I'll get it I'm to you, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to kick in, I don't know, in 20 minutes. I know, but I'll crush it up and shove it in my ass because I'm going to be sneezing. I got one eye closed over All right, here. well, kill time. I'll go grab it. I look like Popeye. This is the, I've been doing this pod for eight years. I've never gone to the old grandpa's cough medicine. I can't wait, but bring... Is it in a bottle? I got to see the it's bottle. It's a pill in a box. But it's just a random pill. I don't want to end up in fucking well, half it's, dead. It says allergy on it. It says uh, Jews and stuff. Is it in the package? Yeah, yeah, I don't got a bunch of loose pills out here. Well, I don't know. You had loose pills in the green business, whatever the fuck that was <laughs> well, called. That was me asking for the Lucy's. Give me, give me. If it comes in a box, I'll take a peek at it. All right, all right. Sniff. All right, I'll come in your box. Hold on. I can't stop sniffing. I'm, I'm stuffed and, and drippy at the same time. This goddamn cat doesn't even give a shit. It's got whiskers longer than my father's asshole. What is it? Excedrin. Excedrin. That's for a headache. Mucus. Mucus is good. Mucinex. I need a Claritin. I might have one in my bag. Hold on. I got one in my bag, I think. I definitely got one. Hold on. Come back. I got one in my bag. Just bring me my satchel. Satchel page. Yeah, just give me that that red pack. I got everything in here. I got lamotodine, toad the wet sprocket, the All toadies. Right. I got CVS Health. Oh, that's mucinex. Mucinex. That's okay, that. that's something. That's more mucus. Oh, the I get fuck? a lot of mucus. Who are you marrying? Uh, well, that was for me. I had a sinus infection for like ten days. I wanted to kill myself. It was worse than AIDS. Look at this. I got. Uh, if you got a herpes Ooh, outbreak, I got some of that. That's big. Yeah, that's not bad. Then this is the reflux over here. That's wow. a yeah, acid controller. You Man. know me. I eat a lot of Chipotle. Here it comes. Yeah, the pharmacy in there. Laura, Laura Tadine. Yeah, yeah, yeah antihistamine. Good. 24 she, hours, sneezing, runny nose, itchy, watery eyes, itchy throat, uh, nose. You got it. Boy, what a big nerd you are. You got a whole medicine cabinet in your, in your uh, purse. Oh, I got everything. All right. This is exciting. Yeah, I got it all. I got the some hell? checks in here. I got, a, I got some hard candy in there. <laughs> That's far candy in there. I got some gift cards, nail clippers. All right. Anyways. We're sorry. back. Can I, how long does that take to kick in? Because I don't want you sneezing all over creation and getting your uh, mucinex all over the table. I think it's immediate. Look, the cat doesn't even care. He's just looking yeah. at me. Well, he doesn't get the concept of allergies and sickness and pollen. A lot. <laughs> I'm going to grab that napkin blow my nose. You kill that. All right. All right. You get the napkin. All right. I forgot what the hell we were talking about, but uh, Baruch. Yeah. Daniel, he's great. Funny guy. Check him out. I don't think he has anything online. That's the problem with Daniel. He's got to start putting out some material, that kook. Yeah. Never, <laughs> never puts out when I'm around. No, no. He's a prude. But, uh, yeah, I've been all over. I, uh, I'm i wiped. I got no sleep. I did a did an Amtrak at 10.30 p.m. from Providence, Rhode Island. You need an amtrak in. Yes. To sleep. Yeah. And uh, I tried to help you out there. Nah, but it wasn't great. I tried to support. But, uh, you know, you go, hey, 1030. We'll do a show at 730. We'll be done by nine. Where were you again, sir? Providence. All right. 
It was the it was one of these trains that takes it just chug 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 chug. We're going to Auschwitz. Auschwitz was faster. This was like stop in New Haven for a half hour. The, the yep. train goes boo and they shut down. Your charger stops working. Everybody's snoring. And you're like, what are we doing here? I know about the New Haven stop. It's planned. You have to have it in your uh, head. Because if you don't have it in your head, then you're fucked. You're like, what is this? This is horse shit. But right. they stop in New Haven for like 45 minutes. Completely. I think they recharge. Oh, and then I saw some business outside where the, the, the guy with the hats, the, the dudes. Conductor. Thank you. He was like switching and sweat. He went trans and there was a new guy. Yeah. So they got to do the stop. But uh, I got home at four in the morning. Oh, that sucks. Still better than coming on Monday. I agree. I mean, we just had this debate last week or two weeks in a row because we were at the See Here Now Festival in Asbury Park, as you remember. Yeah, Billy Idol. And uh, yes, still feeling it. Mm. And so we left Sunday night. I was like, let's fucking beat it. Beat the traffic. But this fucking Northeast Corridor is a uh, nightmare. The people living in the rest of the country, they don't know what it's like. It's a miscarriage. If you, wanna, if you live in Kansas City and you're like, let's go to Des Moines, you hop in the car, you're on the highway in three minutes, and you're in Des Moines in whatever amount of hours it takes to get there. Yep, yep. But here... There's no time of day you can beat it. Now there's Sandy Hook all up your ass. There's dead kids everywhere. You try to get to Connecticut, it, it, it's inevitable. You leave at 5 a.m. on Christmas morning. Oh, there's the, there's the presents rush. Oh, oh here's, the, uh, here's the Christmas carol traffic. You can't, you can't get around it. <laughs> it's horrible. So we left Asbury Park at 11 p.m., I'm like, we'll zip up. It would take us an hour and a half. Zip up, zip out. Yeah. You get in there, and I always screenshot it. You see the mileage, 11 miles. Yep. One hour, 48 minutes. You're like, this should be 10 uh, minutes. That's crazy. So we cruise through the Garden State Parkway, which just brings me joy. I love Jersey. Sure. You shoot up there. You get to the 95. You go past the factory that smells like farts. Yep. And yep. then you just come to the Lincoln Tunnel, and it stops. Just dead stop. And you look, there's literally, I counted, nine lanes of traffic wow. that fiddles down into three. You go from yes. nine to three and 50 feet. It's like you got 12 guys trying to get into one vagina, and we're just at a, at a bottle dick. It's horrible. I, I've watched those videos, but they take turns at least. That's it's true. Nice. And there's two holes. And I'm happy to go 12th and come on the other come. I kind of like that. Yeah. I like some, to come on my dick. Sometimes that double penetration of those two dongs get mighty close, and you go, well, what's really going on here? Maybe you guys have some, some stuff to get. I can't watch or even think about a double penetration. It just doesn't. It it's seems too horrible. I mean, the gals seem to be enjoying it, but who knows? These are fantastic actors. Well, I'm one of those too. You'll see soon, folks. Uh -huh. Yes. But anyway, so we left that night, and then this weekend I was in Philly, and it was the same conversation. Should we leave after the show? Mm. And I said, no, no, let's just stay here. Because what happens? Wow, that's not like you. Well, you know what happens is. And I'm sure you've lived this and had it this weekend. Is when you decide to leave after the show, then everything becomes compounded annoyingly. You bump into the manager; they want to tell you what a great uh -huh. show. And you go, no, no, shut up, shut up! I gotta go. I gotta That's hit the so road. True. You start checking, and then you bump into a fan. Hey, did I ever tell you? And you go, F I gotta go. I gotta, yeah, I gotta get home for so two. So true. So I said, this way, we'll just stroll, leave in the morning. But it takes that chunk out of your day chunk you got to get up and my wife's a sleepy lady we have different sleep kind of patterns me and my gal she's a snooze fest i get up early i wake up at eight i'm out the door yep so i gotta dump a bucket of water and come on her to get her up <laughs> and, and uh, it's That's a it's, lot of gum it's it's tricky yeah but anyways well wait a minute wait you were in philly today then no today is monday yesterday oh i thought you left on oh well, i Saturday, see i see show Thursday, Friday, Saturday, left yesterday morning. Had a lovely day in the park. We missed you. Uh, I heard. I heard. I was watching the, you know, I got that text from Donnelly. It's always a weird text. He's like, yeah, you coming to the park? I'm like, I'm out of town. He's like, just come by, you dick. And yeah, I'm I like, that was a weird text. I'm out of town. What, what, what do you want me to teleport? Should I, should I blow off the gig and drive in? What are we doing here? I think he thought you had a spot in the city. Uh, That's what I assume. He must have, yeah. It's weird when people are... You tell them you can't. I'm on the moon. They go, just get over here. You're like, well, the moon's a little, a little bit of a trip. You know who does that is Ari. Yes. I'm like, he's like, hey, we're putting together a trip. We're going to all camp and kiss right, each other on the right. lips. And I go, well, I'm in uh, Des Moines that night. Well, what do you do? Well, you cancel it. We're having fun. You're going to live your life. And I'm like, I do live my life, but I'm working that weekend. Yes. I'll it, live my life a different day when I'm not working. Yeah. And when I'm doing shit with you, I don't just cancel on you to go to Des Moines. 
Good point. I have a point. Very All right. Point. So tell me about Philly. It's my favorite uh, club. I love that city. I love uh, the whole kitten caboo. Love Philly. I just love it. I just want to suck its dick. And I had my last drink. I got sober there. So it's a special Ooh. place to me. It, it touches my cockles. Yes, cockles. Because I had my last drink there at the bar at Helium. Mary Rodzinski and Pat House. We had a couple cocktails. Uh, good eggs. Great eggs. Great comics. And uh, so we went down there. And did I, you know what you let you go? Here we go, folks. This is the big pop. No. Done and done. If I knew it was my last drink, I would have gone a little more ape shit. I feel but, like it. Yeah, I just kind of had a, a whiskey and a few beers or whatever. But so it's a special place. I love Philly. I love all the Northeast cities. Those I do are my too. favorite cities D.C., Philly, New York, Boston. Baltimore's Baltimore can little, blow me. Yeah. A little queefy. It stinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not great. Although people say it's great. Nah, they got to say that. It's like when they say their kid is nice. Yeah, good point. Or handsome. I've been to Inner Harbor and everywhere else seems a little... A little dicey. Not great. Not great over there. Not That accent is might be the worst in the country, too. The O. Hoagie. We got to get a hoagie. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> kill yourself. Oh, it stinks. Stavros is cool, but the rest... I like Umar, but yeah, bad news. Also, what kind of name is Magoobies? But we'll yeah, get to that later. Not great. <laughs> not great. John Waters seems fun. I met him once. Yeah, and Edgar Allan Poe is from there, which he doesn't feel like a Ravens fan. Oh, yeah, Poe. Yeah, big Poe. You know, Police po boy. is named after Edgar Allan Poe. Get out of town! I swear to God. Hit me with it. Well, Edgar Allan Poe wrote uh, a novel about... He was a writer? Yeah, he oh. wrote a novel about um, the BLM movement. Uh, and, uh, no, I don't know. He I got ahead of it. I think Police was before Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> I made up the whole thing. What about the band? Was he in it? Yeah. All right. Who had that joke that was like... Uh, Roxanne. No, oh, they, they they wrote out the... Uh, whose on. joke was it? They said, fuck the police. The song, fuck the police came out. And then the police, the band, the police was like, hey, fuck you too. And then you too was like, why are you bringing us into this? Oh, that's funny. That's pretty funny. That's a nice little connection there. Whose was that? It feels like a Beantown kid. It was somebody... It's it's cute and clever. It doesn't feel like uh, a real closer, but it's cute. Yeah, fuck the police. Hey, fuck you too. Wait, what do we do? Right, I like it. It's cute. It's fun. I like it. Maybe I can I'll see that. start doing it. Yeah, take it. It's yours now. Anyways, Nobody I got claimed it. Here's what I got. I got one of these weekends where it's just great, but you don't have any stories. Right. I mean, I got one thing that's worth mentioning that was wow. fun that I think you'll appreciate. Mention, mention. But honorary. Great weekend. A lot of gays. Two's gays up the ass. I got a gift card from Luke. Hot shout out. I just gave it to you. One for me. One for you. Luke. By the way, Lucas. May Luke. the force be with you. Luke and Juke. <laughs> But uh, my pill is already working. I feel great. All right, boy, you got your own stuff. Don't you wish you could give the cat the pill and then he no longer ah, sucks? It'd be nice. I think you shave it or give it a bath or an enema. Shave a few bucks. Um, mm, enema of the state. So we go down to Philly, Sarah and I. Great trip down there. Great ride. The hotel's great. You're high, you're high up perched. Is that the Senesta? The Senesta, yeah, yes. Yeah, love high. And I wanted to fuck with the windows open because there's that office building right across the... Ooh. What do you think of this theory? I'm I like, like it. Why don't we just fuck in front of the office? It's courteous. Gives them the option. Well, it's courteous if you look decent. You don't want uh, Delta okay. Burke cooking over there. No, I don't want to watch Delta Burke fucking, uh, you know, John Goodman. But No, God. Well, maybe, you'd, I mean, I would, I would still watch, but uh, you need maybe two rooms. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> That's a lot of window. <laughs> but... I'm like, sh why don't we fuck? And then they have the option. They can watch or not watch. Yeah. If we don't, if we fuck with the shades closed, they don't even have an option to see us fuck. It is pretty bold that their hotel is across the way from a office, and it's all windows, both of them. Everyone's fucking in a hotel. Everyone's jerking off in a hotel. Everyone's shitting. Everyone's walking around naked. At some point, the hotel has to adapt. I mean, the office has to adapt to you. They must love it. I imagine that that's like a pool they have. I agree. They put in some money. Who's going to see the first dick? Right. Or whatever. Right. But I would be thrilled. I never had an office job, but if I was working nine to five, oh. five days a week for 45 years, if I didn't kill myself, I'd be thrilled to see a pair of tits. I completely agree. My old apartment, I used to live in the Lower East Side. I lived in this tiny dick of an apartment. The only upside... I had a half a window that looked out at a giant apartment building, and it was one of these swanky high-rises. Every single week, there'd be a photographer in there with a hot lady naked taking photos, and she was up wow. there, you know, doing this shit, naked shirt, and I would 
I would like be out the window, kind of with one eye, just creaked against the brick, trying to see something, and it was all. It was so common. You just want to see it. It's, it's very voyeuristic. It was you amazing. Want to see. And when you see a boob in the wild or a labia, I mean, you you want to call your parents. It's so exciting. Yeah. Don't you want to be? I really, you know, I love photography. I'd love to shoot women naked. I'd wow. love, wouldn't that be fun? Uh, of course. And I think the, these photographers, I think they uh, do quite well, if you know what I mean. I think so, because they get in a vulnerable spot and it's artistic. Why don't you lean your tits over right. your shoulder, right. stick your bush in your armpit? Exactly. And I think the gals, they feel hot. They go, hey, maybe I am pretty sexy. And then they get all tuned up. Anytime I'm at a bookstore, I swing right over that photography section Ooh. and I grab a book and, and take a peek. The female form. I mean, look, this is a barren wasteland of art right here we could put something in this thing but me and the lady we've bicker we can't decide she goes what do you think about this i go ah that's cheese dicks and i go what about this she goes ah what am i a douche but the mm. only thing we can we can agree on is maybe like a naked lady right here and she's into it she likes a naked lady it's a it's a good look all right well uh, let's think of some naked ladies we might be able to put up there i mean you don't want danny devito you don't want a naked man but you know uh, even a naked fat lady a naked skinny lady a naked tall lady it all works fat lady a naked fat lady, I think, is a is a novelty. It's like fun. Like, oh, look at these guys. They're kooky. Maybe it's from like the 30s. One of those ones, like an 1880s fatty. Yes, yeah. yeah what like is it, a Victorian. current fatty. Disgusting. Uh, that's uh, all right. You got something there. You got an old fatty. An like old one of the fatty. ones with like the cowboy hat. And she's got like thigh highs. One of those. That's she's like a, fun. She's like a broad. Yes. Maybe a broad. I'll take a broad stroke. Not a lady, though. Broad noodle. But uh, maybe a thick lady, like Kate Winslet in Titanic, when she's got the Ooh. head over there. She's a little thick. Is she thick? I think she's thick. Uh, I think she was 90s thick. I don't know. I, I think that thick has sailed. Well, thick is good. Not I fat. Li I like thick. Thick? Thick. Uh, I yeah, thought she was she's normal. Thin. No, I, normal. <laughs> maybe she's normal. I think, I think that's middle now. Okay, maybe she's middle. I think the goalposts have gotten fatter. All right, I'll take a look. All I right. haven't seen the movie in quite a while. <laughs> it's not great. No, it really isn't. The one best picture. doesn't quite make sense, a lot of it. Well, my heart will go on. I know. Ron and I were just talking about this. We have a movie pod. Check it out. But I think back in the day, fucking for a week was like really meaningful. Like Titanic, they fuck for a couple days. Oh, yeah. And like Casablanca, they fuck for a week. And it's like, will she leave her husband for this guy? Oh. But now, in reality... You fuck for like four days. You don't even know the person's name half yeah, the time. Yeah, that's true. With the Tinders and the Bumbles, forget about it. Yeah, now you, you just fuck everyone for a week. That's I'll fuck true. you for a week. That was every movie. It was like like these Woody Allen movies. It's like, oh my God, I met someone. We have great sex. You're like, yeah, yeah. Join the club. <laughs> yeah. I don't that even, was a whole movie. Doesn't make sense, but... Interesting. Well, people jizz. also got married just to fuck back in the day, too. Right. That was a big thing. Like, I want to fuck this chick, but... Uh, I don't even like her. Well, you got to make, make an honest woman out of her. So you had to marry the lady just to get laid. Now it's like the reverse. Uh -huh. You marry them in spite of only being able to fuck them. Mm. Like you're like, uh, it sucks that I can only fuck her, but I'll, I guess I'll marry her. Oh, yeah. Because she's nice to hang out with. That's a great point. The whole thing is flipped. A lot of flipping. Flip flop. Is this good? I can't ah, tell. We had a moment. All right. Well, anyways, we went down to Philly. Tell me what you think of this. Please. I think you're going to like this. Put it in my ass. Um, see if I finish. So what I do is I, we're there at the hotel, and we've talked about this before. You get there Thursday. It's always quiet. Sometimes you get there Wednesday. You're like yeah. the only one. You own the place. Oh, you got that right. Then the weekend turns around, especially Friday. It just fills up, and now there's all these new people in your hotel. Oh, yeah. I hate that. I never thought of it like that. It's annoying. You can't get to that desk guy. That desk guy is uh, done these days. It's they, they need to update that. I feel like everything's updated. We got Uber. We got Amazon. We got Netflix. The hotel desk guy or gal is on their own. Everybody's got a million questions, and he's got a line out the door, and he can't get to you. It should be a desk gang. There should gang. be a whole gang down gang there. Gang bang. Like people, there should be three people, and then one person behind each of them. Yes, yes. And then the phone's ringing. The guy's doing your cards. It all takes too long. I told you about my new system. I show up. I show my ID. They hand me an envelope. I go up the stairs. I love that system. Good, Good system. system. Systemic racism. I got a system in my ass. Oh, yeah. I'll pop it. Uh, but... So we go there, and Saturday night, we come out after the shows, and I always feel, people are always like, do you get nervous for the show? I'm like, I don't, ever. Mm. I get nervous walking home from the show in Philly. <laughs> it's it's 12, 15 at night. Philly's a tough town, and, yep. and, there's, and it's the range of tough. You got bros, you right. got hobos, you got... Uh, Ghetto, you got Jews, you got Asians. It's, it's all kinds of stuff, and then you have those... 
couples that are fighting. And I yes. always feel like when you see a couple fighting, if the if you make eye contact with a guy, he'll fight you. Right. Because he can't hit her. Good point. So he sends the energy your way. What the fuck are you looking at? Yeah. That shit. But then if he hits her, you got to do something. I know. You got to go, oh, I'm going to get involved or right, whatever. Right, right. It's tough. Tough spot. Tough for the lady, too, because she might get hit also. Exactly. So mm. I, I get anxious. I feel very vulnerable in that city at 1230 at night. And it's a good nine minute walk to the to the hoe. It's a walk. And so and there's also Philly is all alleys. Ah. So it's like a haunted house. You come by that alley and someone's in there. Spare change. You go, oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. True. And, and, you know me. I'm a little gun shy now. A or jumpy. Uh, what is it called? Uh, triggered. Triggered because I've had two incidences. Yes. Both one during the day. Um, so Ooh. I see homeless people now. I used to buy them a snack and give them some yodels and wash their feet, but now sure. I see them. I just run for the hills. I hear you. I shove my wife into them and then just take off. It's so funny because the it, during the day when the the blue sky is out and the sun is shining, that Rittenhouse Square is like a little oh, Shangri La. Everybody's uh, in the fountain and blowing each other, and there's kids. Yeah, we had we had breakfast there one day. We got a couple bagel sandwiches, sat in Rittenhouse, and just oops, I touched the remote. Oh, there you go. Um. But remote learning. So I go in Working there. Remotely. Hey, is that like a sketch? Remote learning. Because that's what everyone was doing. And maybe you learn about the remote. It's ah, not great. It doesn't have a lot of leg. Nah, it stinks. Universal remote. Yeah. That's something. I never is got it? that thing to work. Even they put the code in. I go, I, I got no code. Anything with a code, I hate. I hate code. I hate the name Cody. I hate codes. If, if you told me to have a, a baby and a million dollars, you had to sign up for an account, I'd be out. No, I, I, if he doesn't have face recognition, I Yo, just get a new thing. Forget a password, a, a login, I'm a, it's over. I, it's, it all stinks. It's just nothing but passwords. I know. And now tickets, I go to a lot of shows. It's all this website. I got yep. seven apps here. Uh, I can't keep track. <laughs> I hate apps. I'm done with apps. Oh. Uh, I like mozzarella sticks. All right, those aren't bad. Um, TJ Fridays. So Saturday night, we're going back to the show. After the last show, you feel like you're done. Hmm. You do all the meet and greet, and I'm meeting and greeting everybody. Everyone's saying hello. Tons of photos. Shout out to Kyle, the door guy. He took a million photos. Oh, good. You throw the guy a, a Twinsky, I hope. I threw him 40. Oh, shit. I'll Venmo him. <laughs> ten, I figured 10 bucks a show. He's taking 50 photos. Oh, good point. Makes you feel safe. The whole thing. He's quite charming. Good kid. And I think he did a thing where he, he kept taking so many photos that I had my arm around people for like a, a half an hour. I'm oh, like, yeah. I'm like, come on. Just grab one and go. But I, yeah, I it was that. nice because the, there was two young women. They came back four times to retake the photo because they were uh, self-conscious about their faces. It's an epidemic with the ladies in the photos. It's a lot. Of, and then they start telling them, go higher, go lower, move the lighting. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember the old days? You took a click, click. It flashed. You went. <laughs> that was it. You, you hope had, for the best. You had to deal with it. It's kind of like kids. You hope it's a decent one. It's not special needs. And you don't get another try. And if it's a bad one, you chuck it in a dumpster. That's the move. So... Uh, this thing takes a long time to power up, by the way, your TV. It's well, like cycles. It, it's just a um, a menu. you got to kill this because you're going to talk about it. Hey, good go ahead point, and get, good hit the point. power there, what Freddy. Do do? I hit the power? Hit the power. Need a code? Fight the power. And there you're done. Go. All right. And now you got to log out. So, I'm joking. Go? <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, terrified. I'm going to get to the story eventually. All right. We sorry. get back. What are you doing? I'm getting the You ads. tell me to turn the TV off, and then you get in your phone. We got new ads. The TV wasn't even doing anything. It was just a menu. There we go. I'm getting them ready. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's what I'm saying. What I'm, the fuck's I'm, wrong with us? I'm on top of it. We're like 75 minutes in here. <laughs> We're cooking. I we haven't got even a lot told of anything yet. Well, we had to get the aspirin for 20 minutes. <laughs> Remember I that? Found one. No, it was Famo Toadie. Laura all right, Toadie. All right, big pharma over here. Uh, all right, so we get back to the Saturday night. We do the shows, meet and greets. Thanks to all the gays. We love you. God yes. bless you. Thanks for the gifts. Thanks for coming, for laughing, the whole thing. Praise Allah. So then we leave there, and Sarah's like, oh, it's so nice to be done. And I'm like, but well, we're not done. we got to walk through all the alleys. Ah, uh, the alley. Alley McGraw. You know my alleys. Yes. Isn't it McBeal? There's a few alleys. <laughs> Is it McGraw? That's an old alley. Oh, I don't know she that She fucked uh, Steve McQueen back in 41. No kidding. Allie McGraw. She was in that movie. She's in the uh, Robert Shaw. Well, no, what's that guy's name? Robert Shaw? I love Robert Shaw. No, not the... the Taking of Pelham Parkway. The Jaws. Agent. Jaws. Agent. Oh. James Bond? Kid stays in the picture. Oh, uh, Mitch, Peter Bogdanovich? Yeah, the other guy. The handsome guy. Uh, Mitch McConnell. The agent. He's Mitch not album. handsome. No, no. Ah, shit. Mitchum. Robert Mitchum. No, that's an actor. He was uh, gay, okay. I think. Agent. 
The agent, the guy the movie's about. I told um, those crowds to suck it. You yeah, know that yeah. guy. What's his name? Mitch, Mitch I Mitchell. Think it's Mitch. I think it was Robert. Robert, Robert Mitchell. Evans. Robert Evans. Yes. yes. Robert Evans. He's very good. Um, Mucus. I'm going to tell you about this elevator eventually. Please. We got ads, too. We get back to the hotel. All the wedding. It's two wedding parties in the hotel. Uh, They're all converging that, as we walk up. That's a bad hotel. The layout doesn't uh, apply to a wedding party. But it was like Braveheart. There's like a group, a clan from over here and a clan from over there. And they clandestinely all met. And they cram in right in front of us. Oh, man. Blue face. They're all in the dresses and the things. And then there's a line for the elevator. There's like 30 people deep. And they're all drunk. I hate drunks. Yeah, they're tough. Because they always want to get you involved. Hey, yes. well, you got a pants on. Oh, fuck this. This guy. Yeah, they got you in a headlock. They're nerpling you. So Sarah's like, this is going to take us 20 minutes. And I'm like, hey, we just finished working. So I said, I- I'm not doing it. I'll walk up the stairs. We're on the 17th floor. I go, I don't what? give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm in good shape. What are you, I- Rocky? I got a nice butt. Well, it was Philly. Yeah, it's true. Take Adrian. him to the zoo. Retards love the zoo. <laughs> Can't argue my- with that. I'm telling you my bit. They did the Rocky musical. I was ah. like, did they leave Retards love the zoo in the musical? Ooh. I'd love to hear that on key. It'd be a funny song. Yeah. Re- take her to the zoo. Retards love the zoo. And you can have a monkey go, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good bit. That's not bad. Nobody liked it. Anyways, I like it. So I, I go up to the front desk and I go, I got it. This is a crazy question. Don't sweat it. But is there any way we could walk to the 17th floor? Oh, that I is said, a kooky We're question. healthy people. We're in good shape. I, I can't deal with this. And the lady was like, she was upset with me. I don't want to do the impression. Wow. Wow. That was, that was impressive. majestic. So she says, hey, Billy, Billy, they want to walk to the 17th oh, floor. Here we go. And the guy, security guy, big guy, African-American fella, he says, uh, why do you want to walk to the 17th floor? That's insane. They hate the walk. I said, well, it's all drunks over here. It's like 40 people. There's a line to get the escalator. I don't want to wait. But if I can't, don't worry about it. We'll just wait. And he goes, uh, hmm. Yeah, now he's got a little power, he's got a little juice. He goes, I got you. Come on. There you go. He's got the keys jingling, the key thing. Yeah, you know the key love guy? the jingle. So he goes, follow me, walks us up a flight of stairs, and I go, all right, well, I guess we're walking. He's going to walk with us. He's a heavy set fella. And he goes, we get to the top of this level of stairs. He goes, this never happened. You never talked to me. Don't say a word about this. What? And I go, what? He goes, I'm taking you through the employee elevator. Oh! And I go, hey, all right. So we walk through the kit, the bowels of the hotel. You're like Jimmy Conway. Through the kitchen, the whole thing, I around the side, and we go into the thing. It's this little elevator. He goes, boop, boop. He uses a code. He's got one of those oh, magnet things. Oh, man. And it's like this shitty, beat-up old elevator. We ride the elevator, and I'm like, and I'm like, really like, oh, thanks, brother. I appreciate you, <laughs> my friend, or whatever. Yeah. I'm fist bumping him and giving him the, some gang signs sure, or whatever. I really, sure. I just wanted to bond with the guy. Let him know I'm one you. of the cool guys. Guys. Yes, yes, you, know, you I dap said, up. I said, I hate the police. I love basketball. I have a dream. Hip hop. And we go up to the 17th floor. He goes, what room are you in? I said, 1702. And he goes, come on. Walked us right to the door. Keys us in. He goes, what? there you go. He smacks Sarah on the ass, kissed me on the lips. And I said, thank you so much. George is saying cut it. I gave him 50 bucks wow. and the rest of my wallet. And uh, Like Prince William. <laughs> it was amazing. I was so happy I asked. I felt so cool. And I was like, how do you like that, young lady? And That's then, uh, pretty good. We didn't have sex, and we watched Star Wars. Damn it. Well, weird movie choice. But it's crazy that the funny thing is that that was fun for him, too. Mm-hmm. He's he's giving you the, the great night and living it up, and he's, he's being nice. But he got to be a big shot a little bit, too, because he... He, he, you wouldn't have that without him. Yes, it was exciting. So we we both stroked each other's assholes a yes, little bit. Yes, exactly. Sweet guy. Big shout out to him. We got to read the ads. The episode's almost over. I fucked up. This took too long. I hate myself. I'll I, kill myself someday. I, I, I hope so. But I wonder if he knew you were the comic. I bet that had something to do with it. I don't think so. Well, he said this. This is what I ah. like. I said... You know, it's tough. It's just all the drunk people, and I get it. They're having fun, but, you know. And he goes, I, he's like, believe me, I got to deal uh, with it all night. Uh, I got to deal with these people all night. He's like, I've been dealing with them all weekend. And he goes, the problem is I'll talk to these people because they get too loud and crazy, mm-hmm. and they say, fuck you. We paid for it. Right. And I say, and I say this, is, I'm, this is him talking. He says, uh, I say, these, these people pay for Ooh. it, too. And I said, thank you. Exactly. Wow, you guys are cut from the same anal. Exactly. I wanted to hug this guy. I love this guy. But it's a good point because the weddings, they get drunk and they sleep in the hallway and they knock stuff over and they have a good time. And they're like, we paid so much money. And you're like, there's other people here. You got a point. So his point, I appreciate the point. Great point. Great point. And uh, Great Scott. 
My father's gay. Here we go. Tuesday Stories is brought to you by Honey. Hello. You got to love Honey. We all buy stuff online. We've seen empty promo code, that little box taunting you like a high school cheerleader. Oh, if I only knew the promo code. If I only could save a few bucks, I'd buy so much crap online. It's just sitting there winking at you, and you got nothing to fill it with. Thanks to Honey. I don't have to search for one anymore. A promo code, that is. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for discount codes. When you're ready to check out, Honey automatically applies the best one. Instant savings, baby. Honey has found its customers over $2 billion bucks in savings, supported by over 30,000 stores online. Buy anything you want, from tech, gaming, to beer, wine, shoes, clothes, you name it. We're all online. We're all buying stuff. Might as well save a couple clams. Tell yeah. them how. Sloppy Jalopy. Why not? If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free. Woo. Installs in just a few seconds. Save some dough and support Tuesdays with Stories. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash Tuesdays. That's joinhoney.com slash Tuesdays. And get that honey, baby. You got that right. Tuesday Stories is also brought to you by Blue Chew. Fall is here. We can all use a nice stiff breeze, if you know what I mean. Oh, boy. You, you don't want to be left out in the cold with a wet noodle. You want a hard, dry rod. This stuff works. I've used it. It's great. It's changing the world. You know, you always hear old guys say, back in my day, we walked 50 miles up the snow and all that shit. Now you're going to have old guys going, boy, you kids are so lucky you can get hard at a drop's notice. Drip drop. Get more confidence in the bedroom. Blue Juice tablets offer the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable form. If you don't like swelling pills, this is for you. Chew it up. Works fast. Take it day or night. Save a ton of money compared to the name brands. Blue Chew is an online prescription service. That means no doctor's office, no awkwardness, no waiting in line. Talk to a licensed medical provider. Get a prescription online. Ships right to your door in a discreet package. And... Blue Chew makes everything in the USA. Makes you hard in America. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. Special offer just for the gays. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment free when you use our special promo code TUESDAYS. Just pay $5 shipping. Again, that's B-L-U-E-Chew.com. Promo code TUESDAYS to try it free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. We thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Oh, yeah. Promise or guarantee results. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, don't do that. Oh, shit. Please do not say. Ah, oh, shit. Whoops. Edit that. And... Oh, I see. Yeah, that was nothing. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> hey, Dude. hey. Oh, you go. You go. Wait a <laughs> Tuesdays of Stories is brought to you by Manscaped. Yes. Autumn. Someone just died outside. Autumn is in the air. The pumpkins are in the patch. And our friends at Manscaped are here to make sure you don't care your pants, pumpkins, when you're grooming. What? Eh. <laughs> Ready to take the leap into fall with Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with the code Tuesdays. Dude, we love Manscaped. Oh, I use this yeah. stuff all the time. I got a nose hair trimmer. I got a ball trimmer. I mean, I use this stuff constantly. Same. I seriously love it. They sent us a bunch of free stuff. I still got a bunch of it. I, I absolutely love it. This the best thing good. they have. Oh, my God. It's amazing. The best thing they have is uh, this new package. It's time to shed the sweater with the Manscaped Performance mm -hmm. Package 4.0. That's what I got. Oh, yeah. Inside the package, you find Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker ear and nose hair trimmer. I love that thing. Crop preserve, Preserver Ball Deodorant. You got that right. Crop Reviver Toner. Mm -hmm. Performance Boxer Briefs. I got a few of those. Mm -hmm. And a travel bag to hold your goodies. Oh, yeah. The new Lawnmower 4.0 features a cutting edge ceramic blade. Reduces grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. Mm -hmm. And you got to get yourself the Weed Whacker. This Love thing. It. Nose and hair trimmer uses 9,000 RPM wow. motor powered 360 degree rotary dual blade system. Whee! Whoa, doggy. Get that same skin face safe technology, which helps prevent nicks, snags, and tugs in those delicate holes. You got that right. I love it. I use it. I'm all groomed up. I'm all trimmed up. I get ear hair like an old fart, so I, I trim that stuff right up. Get 20% off with free shipping with the code TUESDAYS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code TUESDAYS at manscaped.com. Make your balls a priority this fall. Choose Manscaped. Your balls will thank ya. <laughs> Woo!
Oh, that was a lot. That was exciting. All right. Well, I, that's oh, yeah. all I got for. I, I, got, I don't know. I think that's it. I don't know. Maybe. All right. Well, the whatever. shows were good. You, you did some yucks. You got shows some laughs. Shows were great. I mean, all I have written, I'm like, great shows. A yeah. lot of fun. All oh, these are roast jokes. Big roast coming up. Ooh. Eventually. Uh, yeah, yeah. We went to the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. That was great. And uh, man, it was great. Oh, and then I had a fan buy Sarah. I was in the morning getting a coffee. And this, uh, I hear a guy go, hey, can I pay for that coffee? A nice Tuesday. Wow. And I said, it's for Sarah. And he said, oh, never mind. How do you no, like that? No, he said, yeah, happy to. And he uh, bought us a coffee, which was great. So thank you to that gay. You're the best. The gays, we got the best fans. They're the nicest queefs. They're so good. Good natured and smart and and cute. Great people and thanks for supporting and uh, the Patreon folks. We especially thank a lot of extra stuff on there, obviously. And thanks a lot. Here, here. Uh, all right, I'll I'll uh, rattle off a couple things. I gotta I, I gotta get your uh, input on this because uh, this is interesting. Okay, I love interesting. All right, doing Providence, Rhode Island, the Comedy Connection, great club, great town. Sure. Underrated town, by the way. I mean, I could. I, I don't know how long you want to live there, but uh, in a weekend, it's fantastic. Well, they got great titty bars, great Italian food, yep. big old mall, the Pretty yep. River, Brown University. I absolutely love. Love should be called Asian, but either way. <laughs> A uh, great town. Everybody, it's almost like a small town. I mean, it's Rhode Island. It's a tiny state. My dick looks huge there. It's a great time. Uh, the sun was shining. The weather was good. I was hanging out with Chuck and Ray Harrington and Doug Key. I had a good group. And the club is just such a mom and poppy. They run it so well. They're so nice. You know, they. I was talking to these guys. They just sit in the green room with you and chat. They're so normal. They got an apron on. They're out in the kitchen. These guys, like... They get their hands dirty. Good guy. Becky there? Becky's there. Love She's been there 20 years. Becky. I know. I've known her for my, half my life. It's so strange. Wow. Yeah, I get drunk with these the staff after, and I'm like, who who sucks? Who do you hate? Who do you love? And they go, I saw this guy who's famous now. I watched him bomb all weekend, and now he's a fucking killing it. I'm like, wow. It's so fun to hear the old stories. Love an old story. Yeah. So great time, great club, and uh, if they don't think a guy's funny, they'll, they'll cut him. They'll, Cut him. They'll be like, well, he's not working here again. Oh, they mean like slice him. No, no, no. Well, maybe in the mob out there. It's pretty mob, mobbed like up. The last run mob, mafia run town, they say. Well, they're doing a good job. They say the highway, you know how the highway twists and turns? It's because like the mob ran it and they were like, they refused to move any houses or buildings. Whoa. They had to build the highway around it. Oh, how do you what like I heard. that? Oh, Bugats, Scooba Boos. Pretty good. How about this one? Pounds. You know, you weigh 200 pounds. No, I don't. 250? Yeah, like 170. Oh, all right. Maybe well, 175. I've been packing it on. We all lie on our, our license, but you know why it's called LBs? Because it's pounds, but why is it called LBS? Well, let me think. Uh-oh. Side note. Can I just digress for a sure. second? I just figured out on my own, cents is short for percentage of a dollar, right? Oh. Does that make sense? Well, I know in French it's it's saw. But I'm like, it's 48 cents is 48% of a dollar. I think it's all tied together. It's the romance lang, but percent saw in French is, is 100. Hmm. So one penny is one cent per cent. So maybe I'm wrong. No, I think I think cent and, and saw and percent, I think it's all in bed together. Well, I don't know about saw. I didn't care for the films, but all right, let yeah. me think of pounds. Yeah, pounds, yeah, lay it on LBs. me, fatty, Well, uh, uh, you implied it's Italian in some way. No, no ply. Oh, I thought there was an implication. No, no, three ply, Charmin, but... Uh, Could have sworn. Well, you're a Charmin guy. Um, thank you. Let me think. Hey, Pounds, LBs, libs, libtards, oh, vaccine. Oh, that's not bad. Trump. Cuck. Uh, I got nothing. Boy. I got nothing. What's the LB? La, loser, batshit, sorry. Libras. Libras. Libra is the god in Rome, a Roman god with the scales. And Rome is in Italy. Oh. So you implied. All right. Well, I, I, I didn't mean to. Implied. I didn't mean to. That was an accident. Okay. But she's holding the scales, this coup. She's got the scales in the in the, in the the book. And what's her name? Libra? Libra. And Libra means book in Spanish, which is similar to Italian. Interesting. Another romance. Primavera. The stone. Spring. Aha. Uh -huh. That's why I poked. So Libra is the lady and she's the scale. Scale whore. No kidding. Yeah. Pretty good. Wow. All right. All right. Just a fun little aside. Uh, what's his name? Julian aside. Um, mm. so fun town. Now I take the Amtrak down there. Up, 
up there. I had this big plan. I'm going to get the Beamer out. The weather's great. I'll hightail it up there. I get to really be in the car for like three hours, shifting and grinding and playing the music. And <laughs> Thunderstorms. Uh, Thursday. Yeah. Thursday was bad. bad. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, good. Beautiful. And I didn't want to. I didn't want to be hightailing that thing in the, in the you know rain. It's all little. It's cute. It's it fly right off the highway. Yeah, hydroplane. Thank you. So. I uh, take the train. I had to just submit and go. All right, get on this. Get on the goddamn Amtrak. I get on early. I, I I've, I've watched you over the years. You, you're good with this stuff. You're like a Native American. You put your hand on the ground. You can tell what gate it's going to open on the Amtrak. Oh yeah, you, you got a gift. That. I love the gift gate. <laughs> you gate got gift. a gate gift. So I try to do you. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to feel you out. I got bad teeth. I'm getting herpes. I'm looking around. I'm trying to. Uh, <laughs> Summon you. You got to keep an eye on the conductors and the cops and oh, stuff. They start mounting. Oh, that's good. You see them, they shift over there. Well, they were attacking a minority, so they were a little occupado, but I felt like I kind of got a little thing. It's almost like a bet where you're, you're like, put it all on black. You bet. And, yeah, and he was. He got dazed, but Maybe I went bets. down. I got I got down early. I run down there. You get your good seat by the window with the charger. Yes, you need know it. how it is. Got to have it. Got to have the charger. Got to have the window. And you kind of want that other seat. Occupy, you know how we do that. You lean in a little bit, you fart on it, you, you put got, your oh, balls on I it. I save up all my farts for a week. I oh, just start dropping them. Forget about it. I'm so, eating eggs and IPAs and trash. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm watching everybody file in, and everybody's taking up all the seats. Everybody wants the two seat. You know, eventually you got to start giving in and sitting next to people. Sure. But I got my window and I got my charger. You can sit next to me all you want, but I'm farting, I'm queefing, I'm quaffing. So. I'm like, man, I nailed it. I feel so good about myself. Guy comes down with his wife. I got a seat open. The lady across the hall has a seat open. Mm. And the guy goes, ah. Mm -hmm. He looks around. I'm doing the thing where I'm like, what is that, a cardinal? Yeah. What is that, a robin out there, blue jay? I'm trying to really focus away from him. Sure. I got the earphones in. I'm wearing bows, Beats by Dre. I, I got a sleep mask on and a, and a neck pillow. And the guy goes, excuse me. And I keep kind of, what is that? Is that a uh, swallow out there? Or is that a spitter? And the guy goes, <laughs> and I go, ah, yeah, can I help you there, Fatty? And he goes, uh, I'd like to sit next to my wife. Could you sit next to her? And I kind of gave it a look around. There's a lot of open areas, but he mm. picked me. I'm a, such a twerp. I'm a twink. I'm a puss. He knew. I know, but it sucks. Is you're in the window. You're, you're supposed to say it's aisle for aisle, not window for wind aisle. I tried to relay that. I was like, I've been in this situation so many times. One time on a cross-country flight, the guy goes, I want to sit with my wife. I go, okay. And I sat in a middle seat for six hours between two chunkaroos, and it ruined my life. So I, I'm triggered, Jerry. So I go, ah! And I, I pulled a George. I go, I got the arm, you know? <laughs> Joe. <laughs> yeah. I got my nuts here. And the guy was like, I know, I know, it's bad, I know. I realize it's bad, but I, I just really want to well, sit with my nice. wife. And I go, ah, I had the charger. Don't you want to go, do you? <laughs> you? You rode here in a car, you're going on a trip together, you'll be together the rest of your goddamn life. Take a break. That's a good point. And I was thinking, you guys sit on either side of the aisle. You know, it's like politics. Who cares? He, all you got is a little two-foot aisle between you. That's not good enough. Now, I got to ask you this. Why aren't you in the quiet car? You got to go to the quiet car, because then when they say that, you go, wow, it's quiet car. You can't talk to your wife. Oh, that's, I, I panicked, and I saw an open seat. I jumped. Ah, I hear you. I've done it. I didn't know. Sometimes you don't notice that quiet car of placard. I know. It's very quiet. Yes, it's true. So I go, uh, ah, I had the window. And he goes, I know, I know. Like that. That's how hard this guy pressed. He was like, I'm aware this sucks, but I'm, I'm hanging on to you because I know you're a fucking goner. And he was right. I respect the guy. I kind of do, too. And I went, all right. And I'm like, look, look, I'm a fucking man. I can sit next to this person. I don't need a window. I'm a grown up. So I go, all right. And I get up. And I will say, this guy wanted to be next to his wife. I mean, they're sharing a picnic, picnic basket. They're mm. doing a puzzle. They do a Rubik's Cube together. They, they recorded a podcast. So I'm sitting next to old kook face over here, and she is doing this number. She's got the laptop out. She's got the snack. She's got the grapes, the cheese. And then she puts her phone on the laptop. She's FaceTiming. Oh. She's, she's on a laptop it's and FaceTiming. FaceTimers. I don't get it. I, I looked. I peeked over. I was like, what do you need to say to this lady the whole three-hour train ride? And she's going, the other lady's making dinner. She's like, oh, yeah, 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 uh-huh. 
These people, they can't be alone, so they just FaceTime each other. This woman is not even talking. They're making dinner, and she's on a train quietly going like, whatever happened with Kelly? Oh, yeah, Kelly, she died. You know, she's like sauteing. I'm like, what are we doing here? They all FaceTime. Sarah has a niece. That we were all hanging out with the family for like nine hours. At one point, she pulled a FaceTime out of her pocket. <laughs> what? It just fit in the pocket. Their face. That's how they communicate with FaceTime, even if they're in a pocket. I hate Face. I'm saving Face. I, FaceTime is my enemy. I've never used FaceTime. I don't want to use you, you FaceTime me. I cut you out of my life. I hate it. My least favorite part of the hockey game is the face-off. Yes. <laughs> Bad movie, too. A terrible movie. So... <laughs> I, not only do I lose the window, I lose the charger, but I also sit next to FaceTime coos, and the whole thing sucks. So I'm just sitting there like a little douche ten year old who got a bad Christmas gift. I'm I'm, I'm steaming, and I go, mm-hmm. you know what? Instead of just sitting here and stewing, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna go buy myself a cup of coffee and a skittle. Go to the cafe car, hang out. There's That's some people that just they mount up at the they, cafe they car. They mount up. They sit there all day. So I went to the cafe car. I bought myself a little fruit cup and an enema and all this and a hand job. And then I go sat and the the tables were open. At the cafe car. At the cafe car. I so love I those tables. I had a great time. That's nice. I love a table. Uh, it's nice because also the, the whole crew sometimes will sit in there, and then you get to overhear their conversation. Yes. It's hilarious. I tried to write a sitcom about it. It never worked, but whatever. Love the crew. They'll be like, that motherfucker. You get the good stories in there. Yeah, crew's good. It's like a proctologist. You sit right next to them, and you hear a good uh, conductor story. Yeah, good butt stuff. Crew cut. So I went and got all. Went all the way back to my seat, which is eight cars deep. Got my bag. I gave them all a look. This guy's loving his wife. They're necking. They're writing a poem. And I went back, brought my uh, bag all the way to the cafe car, sat back at the table. Sometimes those tables are are uh, are off limits. Yes, this was open, so think, it all worked out. Yeah, they they met him off limits for the crew. I think sometimes. Jeez, yeah, that's harsh. I've been on Amtrak here because I bought the car, so I haven't taken Amtrak in a while. There was COVID and then the car. Right, it's been like two three years since I've been on a thing. I like their burgers. Yeah, you do like those, bro. That, that burger's got to be nutria meat or something. I don't know what you're thinking. It's not great, but it's fun. It's fun. It's fun eating you, a goddamn burger. It, it gets all microwavy and melty, and the bread's soft, and you peel it off, and you get a Pepsi. All right, so. How about this? You ever had this? I get to Providence. It's great. I check into the hotel. Beautiful, sunny night, sunny day. The club's great. I had a flawless weekend. You ever had that? I'm talking every show sold out. Every crowd was amazing. We sold out of merch. No heckle. Wow. No nothing. It was the staff was great. The owners were great. The feature was great. Chuck was there. Doug was there. Doug recorded his album. Uh, by the way, I'm doing Rogue Island Comedy Fest on October October 11. You want to come to Newport, Rhode Island? I went great to city. I went to Doug's uh, hometown. Went to Warren, which is adorable. It's like these. It's like a s- fucking city out of an 80s movie, like Goonies, where they just ride bikes and and pick pumpkins and uh, go to church and shit. You went to Warren. Gee. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Regulator. So, uh, yeah, just had a great weekend, and then the only hiccup. Oh, boy. And I hate to say it, Doug. Dougie Fresh, you've heard him on the Patreon before. He's a good kid. He did his album. Went well. His, he goes, my mom's coming to the Sunday show. And you go, oh, that's fine, whatever. You know, sucks for you. You know what he wants to perform in front of their parents. No. Nope. And he goes, yeah, yeah, she's a bit of a thing. And I go, ah, whatever. So we're sitting in the green room. The mom comes in. She hugs us all. She's like, let me get a photo. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, yeah. She's like kind of a fun, eccentric lady, leather jacket, red glasses. And I don't like that. We put her in the back. She chats the whole show. <laughs> At the end, I go, Doug, you got to get your mom here. Doug had to stand next to her for 20 minutes going, Mom, shut up, shut oh up. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, no offense to your mom, Doug. I love you, and you've been really helpful to me, but leather jacket and red glasses, you don't want one of them in the audience. No, no, that's a red jacket flag. I mean, I assume she rode in doing a wheelie on a dirt bike. Uh, she had a look like that. She had boots on and a swastika. <laughs> so... I gave her a little bit of a what for, uh-huh. and she she clammed up. But you could tell you, you want to be like your son's a comedian. You've been around comedy. You, you still don't know not to shut the yappy. Well, they get excited. I, I had an excited. uncle one time at a, at a firehouse show, and everyone's like, "What's with this guy with the mustache? The little guy <laughs> can't stop talking." And I was like, "That's my uncle." And you know, Chris Allen was on the show. Yeah. He's in the Air Force, and then yeah. Alvin David from Providence. Yeah, he's in the Air Force. So they were all telling Air Force stories. You look over; it, it's it's my uncle and two of the comics on the show, all high fiving and triple kissing. Yeah, it's bad news because I think it's Air Force is like one of the. Was she in the Air Force? 
Maybe uh, she was a little. She was high on life. She sounds like a pilot, <laughs> but uh, I think sometimes they get so excited they can't stop yeah. chatting. I think the pilot light was off, but the, the uh, pilot was in the audience. Nice lady, and uh, it all's well that ends well. Doug drove me to the train station. I hope his album sells well. He killed it all weekend. It's one of those nice ones where you do twenty five minutes and you you lock it in. You know, over four sets. Right. And uh, yeah, then the train ride was seventy eight hours, but I made it back. We're here. We're queer. We did it for the for the fans. We got it out on on time, and uh, the rest is history, as they say. I love it. I mean, aside from the sellouts, I had a pretty perfect weekend myself. Not one incident. Everyone was great. Every show was amazing. That that Philly helium, those oh, low ceilings, oh, great green room, lunch. great MC, great staff. Totally perfect. Fine food. And we went to the. We wanted to run, so we went to the pen. Oh. Uh, we went to the uh, Franklin Field, which is where the pen relays happen, the most Ooh. famous track meet in the world. And we ran. We were the only ones in there. It was a big stadium. It was fucking great. Pen is mightier than the sword. Or what's that guy's name? Sandusky. Yes. That's uh, that's Penn State. Ah. Two different schools. What is this? This is Penn. This is uh, U-Penn. U-Penn. Ivy League. I pen. We all pen. <laughs> We all pen for ice pen. Uh, I think penitentiary came from Pennsylvania. Is that right? I Eastern think it State is. Penitentiary is in Philly, which is beautiful. There we are. All right, a lot of pen, pen and teller. Count it, <laughs> pen Gillette. Uh, but yeah, it was a great week. I mean, beautiful day. September in the Northeast, you can't beat can't it. Can't beat it. Unless you're in Los Angeles, then it's this weather 100 percent of the time. But they're all crazy and it's on fire. And earthquakes and all that shit. Homeless gangs, <laughs> drought, <laughs> uh, smog, Dodgers. Uh, um, but gaze. Uh, yeah, it was a great fucking weekend. We went to the art museum; was great, and everyone was so nice. And it's just a, it's a good living. I had this thing where I'm like, I want to make a movies and be an actor. Yes, I don't know what I was doing. Yes. And you do one weekend at Helium. I'm like, what am I talking about? This is the best That's life the best. ever. It's a great gig. You're doing great. You're selling tickets. The people like you. You're tall. Doing all right. Yeah, I stink at acting anyways. <laughs> I'm watching cuts of the movie. I'm like, forget it. No one watched this movie. It's a piece of shit. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm Can't horrible. Watch it. Can't yeah. watch the daily. I've seen you act. You're pretty good. Watch this. What? That's something. That wasn't bad. That wasn't right? bad. Yeah. I think you got SNL. Yeah, I don't know about that. But. Nah, not with this pod. You got a lot of uh, stuff to delete. Well, it's not going to be good, but eventually we're having fun while we do it. Stick with us, folks. Join the Patreon, for God's sakes. There's a full bonus episode up there right now. It was a great episode. I bought a guitar. Hear all about I got so many nice messages being like, people were like, let's see that guitar. Ooh. I sent it to about 45 people. I'd like to see it. I, I showed you. Remember the oh, thing? Oh, yeah. The it's a good looking axe. And uh, yeah, yellow. people were so nice. I think it's maple or something like Ooh. that. It can't ever just be yellow. That was going to be like mahogany, Yellow's uh, out. honey. It's honey. Eggshell. Yeah. Oh, well, Yolk. honey's a sponsor. Oh, yeah. Thanks, honey. Yes, nothing, honey. Yeah, remember that, that cereal? Yeah, that was fun. That was, what that are you was, doing? Nothing, honey. It <laughs> was a big commercial. <laughs> that was <Yeah>. bad. <laughs> Whatever happened to commercials? Those are something. Yeah, I hate them. All right. Well, we all hate them. Uh, we we did seven of them, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see you next time, folks. We love oh, you. Yeah, dates. We gotta plug some dates. Oh, please get some dates. What's the big race? The big race. Uh, I prefer a cherry. Uh, where am I gonna be this week? In Royal Oak, Michigan. Woo-wee! You know where it's gonna be. Meat's coming by to do a spot yeah, on a Thursday. He's got a kid. I don't know how he affords it, but. Uh, he just recorded an album. Some of you went out for that, I think. I hope. Maybe. Who knows? Sure. Uh, Royal Oak, Michigan, this weekend. Next weekend, October 8th and 9th, Bananas, which is now in Rutherford. B. Hayes. Behave. <laughs> oh, the camera went off again. Oh, what the fuck? Son of an AIDS. Well, we got most of it. Uh, I don't know either. Did you just text me? I got a text from you. Did someone steal your phone? Um, is it back on recording? Yeah, I don't know. Go. Anyways, Bananas, Rutherford, August 8th, I mean, October 8th and 9th. And then November is a big month after Skankfest. I'm at Zany's in Chicago, downtown, and uh, Portland Helium. And uh, December, I'm in Providence in December. Oh, wow. No, November, Thanksgiving weekend. I'll be in Providence. So Hell yeah. Come check that out. All right, all right. I'm at Comedy on State this weekend. We're going to try to add a show. Zany's in Nashville, Friday to Sunday, Rochester, New York. Uh, Dr. Grins in Michigan, Portland Helium, uh, New Orleans, uh, Brea in California, Vancouver in Canada, New Orleans again, that was a mistake, Royal Oak, Michigan, Atlanta Buckhead Theater, Laugh Boston, all over the road, and we're doing a Soul Joel's. 
Yes, October 26th. 26. Already some tickets sold. Make sure you get your tickets. That might sell out. I mean, that's going to be a big one. Hot, live, oh, yeah. up, and then that'll be on the Patreon. So come on out to Royer's first. we got to figure out who we're bringing. Oh, my God. Yeah, we can't fill an hour. So fun, no. Can't. All right, we'll see you, folks. Enjoy it. Queep it up. Praise Allah. Tips.